Here are your Court News Ohio top stories in five minutes. Ohio Supreme Court justices kicked off April's oral arguments, hearing 10 cases over a three-day period. You may be seated. One of the cases involves death row inmate Jeffrey Wagenstall, who was convicted by a Hamilton County jury in 1993 of killing a 10-year-old girl. At issue is whether the state of Ohio had jurisdiction to prosecute because the murder may have happened in Indiana. So is it your position that in this course of conduct that there should be trials in both Ohio and Indiana? No, Your Honor. Two justices recused themselves from this case. District Court of Appeals judges Donna Carr and Eileen Gallagher served in their place. The state of Ohio did not have jurisdiction over the homicide offense in this case, and thus Jeffrey Wogenstall's conviction and resultant death sentence must be vacated at this time. But the state of Ohio says it does have jurisdiction to prosecute the case, despite a key fact. The counsel, uh, the prosecutors in this case repeatedly talked about the fact that nobody can prove where exactly the murder occurred. After hearing both sides, the justices took the matter under advisement. The Ohio Supreme Court had an international audience this week. A host of scholars from Afghanistan saw the court in action and met with Chief Justice Maureen O'Connor. I said, if there's one thing you're going to take back with you, it's respect for the rule of law. The first thing one scholar Obviously, noticed was the building's uh, architecture. We, uh, it looks like a presidential palace. <laughs> yeah, it looks uh, to me. These legal scholars are at Ohio Northern University's law school to get what's called a Master of Laws degree, or what's known as a LLM degree. This is an advanced law certification that has global credibility. Uh, they're a group of intelligent, uh, you know, people who I think, as I said to them at the end, uh, you're very brave for doing what you're doing. You're leaving your jobs, you're leaving your home, you're coming over to the United States, uh, and you're spending this time in order to get your LLM. So I admire them. It takes a lot of muscle to get Morgan High School near McConnellsville ready for the Supreme Court of Ohio's off-site oral arguments. But the crew from the Ohio Channel did just that, traveling 320 miles back and forth from downtown Columbus through the winding rural roads of Morgan County. Pretty much have it down to a science. We come and set all of our gear up and test everything and make sure it's ready and then we do court the next morning. But before that, there's a lot of work to do. From testing robotic cameras, miles of extension cords, setting up tripods and lighting equipment. By the morning, the stage was set for Ohio Supreme Court justices to hear oral arguments and also do a question and answer session with students. So it's to show the high school students, the local community, um, that not all courts are like Judge Judy or the People's Court um, to show how courts really operate. When the justices opened up the room for questions, the first woman to have the privilege of uh, being Chief Justice. They got some good ones. I asked them how their personal opinions on laws affect their decision making in court. And I was really interested because I feel like everybody has their own personal opinion on our laws. Like how they pick cases, I found that very interesting. What does it take? Like, what, what's the education requirements? How many years of college? Do you have to know people, like a political system, to be there? They definitely got the message that seeing arguments in person wasn't what it's like on TV and the movies. Well, I guess compared to the movies, there was a lot, a lot less yelling. <laughs> While the students found the cases interesting, they loved hearing the justices talk about themselves. Right, everyone does have their own little um, perspectives from their backgrounds. Who these people are and how they work and how they feel about their job, it was very nice to get to know them. Honestly, it is a very big privilege, especially for our small area. It was a very, it was a very educated experience for me. These students walked away inspired. We are abiding by the rules of the Constitution and the laws that are being made instead of our personal opinions. As for the Ohio Channel crew, they are tearing down and hitting the road back to Columbus. That is until this fall, when they do it all over again in Marietta. That's a look at Court News Ohio's top stories. Visit courtnewsohio.gov for the latest headlines on Ohio's courts. You can also follow us on Facebook and Twitter.